So the people that's in America today are scared to the West Indies. Those are not, they call themselves Jews. The only one that comes here Jews today are you European. When you read the Bible, you are not the Jews. Now my proof to you, give me Jeremiah 14 to her. When you read the Bible, the Jews are the blacks that's more in America. You gotta hold this. Okay? Huh? You gotta hold this. No, 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 I read. The Jews are the blacks that's more in America. Get it to me, I'll read this. So we're showing you that the people that's in America, those are the Jews that the Bible speaks about. So your people now convert to Judaism in 740 AD due to the Dark Age. So you're not the original Jews. Your forefather lied to you, sir. Just like they, they call the Hispanic, uh, the Puerto Rican people, uh, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Let, me, let me, let me, let me. Let me ask you a question. According to the, to the prophets in the Bible, does it say that the Jews should be in Israel or that God punished the Jews and took them out of Israel? According to the Bible, in the Old and New Testament, God's judgment is that the Jews would be in exile outside of Jerusalem until Judgment Day. The Lord said when the real Jews are in Israel, the nations would learn war no more. So you don't fit prophecy as far as being Jews. Read Isaiah the second chapter. You understand? Read the New Testament for you Christians in James 1 verse 1. It says the real Jews shouldn't be in Israel. So where are the real Jews? Right here in Harlem, right in Bedford Stuyvesant, right in Brownsville, right in Coney Island, all throughout the world. You're the real Jews. They don't fit the real Jews. But your ministers and your pastors are lying to you. They don't understand this Bible. This is Jeremiah 14 and 2. It said, Judah mourneth, I got it. Judah mourneth, and the gave thee of language. They are black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. How do, we, how do white scholars know it's talking about color? When you look at the other Bible, the NIV Bible, the word Judah, Jew is gone, more than gone. It's gone. Because the white man knows that the original Jews are the black and the Hispanic. They know. You see what I'm saying? But to be honest with you, sir, when you, you know about Hitler. You know Hitler said? Hitler said the only Jews that met was Jesse Owen. Why Hitler make a statement? Because Hitler know the Jews are Jesse Owen. Hitler said that the only Jews that met was Jesse Owen. Okay, so your people that's in Israel today, like the brother says, the Bible said when the real Jews go back into Israel, they're not gonna learn war anymore, man. So where's the real Jews? Huh? Yes. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But they won't make peace. Shalom, la atah. Okay. Huh? Okay. Atah lo Yehudi. Atah lo Yehudi. Okay. Lo Jacob. Lo Jacob. Adolf Hitler was a scholar. Adolf Hitler was a scholar. He knew history. And guess what? The Nazi party was financed right here from America, believe it or not. All the wars are financed by the super rich. All the wars. And your leaders, your top leaders, they all know this. They all know this. You understand? So whatever you try to do, you can't pay your way out of this. God is above money. God is above Democrats and Republicans. God is above prime ministers. You understand? God's judgment will be established in this world. And the so-called black man and Hispanic man, those are God's chosen people. And you have a heavy price to pay. Your leaders have lied to you. You can't run from this. Watch the news and read your Bible. Watch the news and read your Bible. Now what do you say, Miss, I heard you talking earlier. What were you saying? I'm kind of curious. What I'm saying, Noah had three sons. Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Right. That's where the racists come from, sir. I can't hear you. Okay, right. And, 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 and there's not the black man and the white man and the Caucasian. We all are human beings. Okay. We are blessed in his eyes. And when we die, we go into the ground. Can I ask you a question? No, don't run and say that. No, I'm not attacking I'm you. I'm not telling you where the race Okay, I'm actually, okay. I'm, not, I'm not disputing that. I'm going to ask you some... And you acknowledge that, right? To a degree. I just have, I, I want to ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Okay. Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? Right. What color was Noah? Well, I, I, I don't know. It didn't have cameras back then. Okay, well, we, we didn't have cameras during the time of, of Washington, but we, we have... But, but, it, but it mentioned... Okay, but can, can I go in the Bible? Can I go... Can I... Can, it, it, okay, coming from one father. Right or wrong? Right. Jesus Christ came from... Was a descendant of, of Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? Right. Okay. But he was in heaven before. Who? Jesus Christ? Yes. But he came... But he, but he, a powerful angel okay. that, that came in the human flesh... The Virgin Mary. That, that's not. That's and they not, had no cameras to know what he looked okay, like. Okay, but let's go in the Bible. Can we go in the Bible? The Bible. No, no, I did my research. I know. Okay, but why are you? Why, why are you I'm arguing me? You know why you're running? Because you know running. you're, you're not sure of what you're saying. Let's go in the go to First John five and eleven. Yeah. First John five and eleven. Well, arguing is to be desired, my friend. What's that? Arguing is to be desired. I like I like to argue but, as long as it's, as long as I, I, I didn't finish. I want to. Let me be my friend. I love to argue as long as there's reason. An intellect with well, it. Wow, are you not, I, 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 you're not going to let me finish what I was going to say? Wow, that's rude. 
I said I love. Rude is to be desired also. Go no, on. rude is not to be desired. It's oh, indeed it is. Indeed okay, it well, is. all right. That's that's. Isolate but first, John Five. Let me read something for you. Let me read something. Isolate for you. yourself in human behavior. Then you don't want it. You okay, but I'm I'm not. But I rather. T- would you Would you rather? Fantasy. Are you on no, drugs? No. Are you Are you been drinking? Big Have you been time. drinking? Crack all day. Have you been drinking? Big time. All right. All read that. First John Five and Eleven. Let's hear it. Let's hear Come on. And this is the record. So the Bible says this is the record. Come on. That God has given to us. That God has given to us. So the Bible is the record that all men should follow. The white man, he don't believe in the Bible. The white man is known to be the devil on this earth. He don't believe in the Bible. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. That's so-called white. You're not brown. Let me ask you. You turn them pretty red to me. You look pretty red to me. Her shirt, who colors her shirt? What? What color is her outfit? I don't know. You don't know now. Now you're a clown. Huh? Indeed, I'm a clown. Now you're a clown. But be a clown. You know what? Because I love to see your faces when the bombs go off in America. I love to see your faces when you kill each other up in the schools. I love to see your faces when the market crashes. I love to see your faces when your women catch hell. Read that real quick. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Read it. That's what the Bible says. Read. You hear that? Read it again. If any man has an ear, come on. Let him hear. Let him hear the word of God. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? Lead us into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Come on. Shall go into captivity. Every one of you devils, you're going into captivity. The Lord said, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Come on. Come on. And he that killed with the sword, come on. Must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. You white people, you can't thrive on the earth for so much of a time. You can't live on this earth for so much of a time without killing. So the Lord said, Read that part again. He that killed with the sword. Yeah, that brother. He that killed with the sword. Come on. Must exactly. be killed with the sword. Must be killed Must with the sword. Killed That's killed what the sword. Lord said. Move back a little bit. That's what the Lord said. You know why? Because the white man, he's been ordained to live by the sword. That's his nature. How did he get America? By the sword. How did he get South Africa? By the sword. How did he get the world? By the sword. He's a beast. He's a beast and a wicked man. Read it again from the beginning. From the beginning. Revelation 13, 9 verse. Come on. Come on. <laughs> if any man have an a ear, if any man have an ear, let him hear. I'm going to ask you a question right after this. Come on. Verse 10. He Come that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Come on. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. You're, you're boring. Go and drink some Jaeger at the bar. You're, you're boring. Go and smoke a doom. Yeah, go and drink some Jaeger. What's your question, miss? What's your question, miss? What's your question, miss? Well, do you think that I have to wait for 30 minutes until you pay attention to my question? See, the white woman and the white man, they're so used to having control and power. She's going to tell me how, when, to ask, when to ask if she has a question or when to speak. They're so used to being that, having that control. But in Judgment Day, that's all going to go away. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. In Judgment Day, they're not going to have that power. You understand? So drink your Jaeger. Drink your Hennessy. Or what? Or your white people don't drink Hennessy. Drink your whatever, your Irish whiskey or whatever you drink. Because in Judgment Day, in Judgment Day, you're going to need those drinks. Smoke your dudes. Smoke your cigarettes. In Judgment Day, you're going to regret everything you're saying here today and what your people have done to black people for centuries. Read that real quick, brother. There's no scripture for you. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Come on, come on. Therefore, all they that devour thee. Read it again. Therefore, all they that devour thee. Who wrote that? The Lord said, therefore, all they that devour us, brother. You understand? All they that devour us. Come on. No, that one. You're both white boys. All they that devour us. What's that? I said the irony is you're both white boys. I'm a white boy. You wish I was a white boy. You're the devil. You're the devil. And you're going to pay for what your forefathers did to these people. You're going to pay when God's judgment comes down on your redhead. For what your forefathers have done to these people. It. Read it again. Oh, you can't. You, you, you have no idea what you're talking about. Come on. Come on. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Come on. Therefore, all they that devour thee. The Lord said, All they that devour us, come on. Shall be devoured. All you white people, you have a heavy burden to pay. Remember it. All they devour shall be devoured. Come on. And all of our adversaries. And all our adversaries, our enemies, you're our enemy. You, your white boyfriend, and white people, you're our enemy. All our adversaries, come on. Every one of them. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. You understand? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see them as my friends. The Lord said, "All our adversaries shall go into captivity." That Soho Village spirit. That's, that's not in us, man. We believe in the Holy Bible. That's what's. That's what's coming to pass. The Holy Bible. And you're God's chosen people, right, brother? Right? Yeah, all right. I hope so, brother. I really hope so. You understand? Because the Bible is what's. That's what's happening, man. All this. 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 Uh, Rainbow Coalition spirit. That's going out the door. The so-called young black men, they ain't going for that anymore. They tired of that, man. They tired of that. They seeing what the cops are doing every day. Give me um, they hold themselves not accountable or guilty. And I think it's Zachariah. Zachariah, maybe 11 and 4, I think it is. You understand? All that, the police brutality and what you're going through, all that is in the Bible. And you know what? It's a judgment from God. 
We're not surprised the cops are killing you. We're not surprised you're locked up and you're filled with jails. All that is in the Bible. These are punishments from the Heavenly Father, but you don't know that because you're in and out of these churches. The churches are not going to teach you the truth. They're not going to go in the Bible. They're going to tell you to love everybody. They're going to tell you to ignore what's happening and just follow a white Jesus. That's not in the Bible. Call that and read it real quick when you get it, brother. That's not in the Bible. You understand? You got to get this soft rainbow mentality out of you. The Bible is not about that. You're in a time of war. If you want to love, love each other. You want to hug, you hug each other. You want to respect, respect each other. How are you going to respect and hug and love the other nations like the so-called white man, Chinese, East Indians, and you don't even know how to do that among yourselves? The black woman is against the black man, and the black man is against the black woman. The Hispanic man is killing the black man, and the black man is killing the Hispanic man. Yet you want to love the so-called white man who's killing all of you. What sense does that make? Does that sound logical? Read that real quick, brother. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Who's a, a, a possessor, slay them, and hold them 